Jujutsu Kaisen Zero the movie came in at number two in its opening week in the box office in the United States. And it's actually based off of this manga here, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Now Jujutsu Kaisen Zero is actually a prequel based on the hit series Jujutsu Kaisen. And Jujutsu Kaisen for the longest time right before the movie was extremely hard to find in print and was recently reprinted right before the movie came out. Now you could always read the series if you wanted to on the Viz app digitally, but when it came to the physical volumes for a long time, they were very hard to find. The prequel is about a young boy named Yuta who makes a promise with his best friend Rika to stay together forever. Now very early on, unfortunately, Rika dies from a tragic accident causing herself to become a curse that latches onto Yuta and will never leave his side. In the beginning of the story, Yuta is being picked on in school by four bullies, and that's when Rika, the curse, comes out and attacks, causing Yuta all sorts of trouble. After that, Yuta is discovered and he's brought to Jujutsu Kaisen school, so that way he can learn how to handle this curse that is upon him. Now the pacing of the movie does start off a little slow in the beginning, and I wish there was a little more action sequences, but once the story does pick up, it goes at a brisk pace for the rest of the movie. The manga is only four chapters long, and the movie does a really good job expanding upon those chapters and also bringing additional life to the story. I was a bit surprised and I enjoyed how much of the book remained intact to the movie as many of the scenes and lines were verbatim from the book itself. Early on in the story, I think the movie had a missed opportunity as in the book and the movie itself, it just says three months have passed as Yuta is training how to use his curse. I wish the movie expanded upon what happened in those three months as Yuta is building his confidence and building his skills on how to handle the curse that is connected to him. I do appreciate that the movie is canon to the actual overall story. So often when a movie comes out for a hit anime series, it's actually a one-off story that has little to no impact on the overall story itself and it can be very easily or quickly forgotten. When it comes to the overall story of Jujutsu Kaisen, I recommend not starting with the prequel Zero or starting with the movie. Instead, I would be caught up at least with the first 24 episodes of the anime or reading the first six to seven volumes of the manga series. That will help give additional appreciation to the overall story itself and help set the foundation of really being able to appreciate the movie or the manga. There are a few Easter eggs and cameos of additional characters that pop into the movie and it would be hard to appreciate what the studio was doing without having that foundation first of Jujutsu Kaisen. Now I will say it is nice, you can go into the movie not knowing anything about Jujutsu Kaisen and still enjoy the movie. There was not a time that I felt if I did not know the overall story that I would be lost or not understand what is going on with the movie itself. With that said, I don't think Jujutsu Kaisen overall story would have started off as strong if they actually released book zero first or the prequel before going into the hit anime series. I highly recommend at least starting off with the volume one. Volume one does a great job building the foundation of the overall story, where if they started with zero, I'm not sure it would have done as well. The movie is PG-13, and I do feel that is warranted due to the violence, some of the blood that splatters on the screen, as well as two brief scenes of adult content. And those two brief scenes of adult content are also in the manga story itself, not just the movie. If you're looking for gorgeous scenes and awesome action sequences of cutting up of demons, you're going to love this movie. I was blown away by the animation and the artwork for this movie. The Studio Mappa has really raised the bar on what it means to make an anime movie and what the artwork should be. The only artwork I've seen that was as close to this and as beautiful was the recent movie that came out last year, Demon Slayer. The main villain of the movie is a little disappointing. I wish they didn't lean on the typical trope 
of a villain who thinks that those with powers should rule over those with no powers or rule over those that are weak. Unfortunately, we see this over and over again when it comes to villains. Now, Harry Potter, which is a great overall series, a great overall movie, unfortunately does the same thing when Lord Voldemort thinks that the wizard should rule over the muggles because the muggles don't have the ability to use magic. One thing I'm grateful for is that we've had three Shown Jump movies come out this past year. I don't feel they need to be ranked in order, but because sometimes it does come up, if I had to rank the movies, I would rank Demon Slayers number one, followed by Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, and then for third, I'd rank My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission. I will be ranking the movie by itself a 6.5 out of 10. I do not feel it would be right to rank the manga Zero by itself without taking the overall Jujutsu Kaisen story into consideration. Overall, I would say that the movie is good, but not great. If you're looking for a movie that you can leave your brain in the car and watch some awesome action sequences, this is a movie for you. If you're looking for additional content and you already love Jujutsu Kaisen, you're going to love this movie. If you're looking for a little bit more of a story and not the typical villain trope as we discussed earlier, this may be a movie that you could wait to see, but I will say the movie does look absolutely gorgeous on the big screen. For myself, I'm going to be sticking to the manga. I do not necessarily feel the need to go see the movie again, but I did enjoy my experience watching the movie on the big screen. And if you do choose to go see the movie on the big screen, do stay during the credits as there is an additional scene that they added. So that's my take on Jujutsu Kaisen Zero the movie. I'd love to know in the comments below if you have seen the movie, and if you have, would you share something that you enjoyed about the movie? And if any of this content has been helpful, would you like, comment, and share with a friend? And if you've not done so already and you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.